What is going on YouTube? Seeing Gralic here. I'm your host, Rico, and I gotta say to all my wonderful fans out there, mmm, how's my, all my wonderful fuck faces in the world? Mmm, just, just, miss you guys, miss you guys, love you, love you, love you long time. I'm here back with another King of the Ring segment. Obviously, you guys already know if you haven't seen the video yet, the rules are simple. I'm giving you the top 5 grade 3 units or grade 4 stride units in the current meta. And you guys can either argue with me, you guys could comment down below saying I'm wrong, I'm stupid, I'm idiotic, or I'm the most bigot person in the whole entire world. It is completely fine. This video is definitely in a debate video if you guys want to do it. This video is up for grabs. You no, know, like I said, comment down below, whatever you guys think. But this, I got this, this information from other players out there giving it top five stride break, stride break rate threes. I'm sorry if I'm tongue tied. I've been, uh, I'm currently working right now, so. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, today, definitely giving a King Ring segment on a top five grade three stride breaks. Uh, obviously I'm, I'm gonna do from five to number one. Five being the worst, number one being the best. Like I said, you guys can either agree with me or disagree with me. You guys could comment down below saying whatever you want, whatever you guys think, and we can argue from there. All right, uh, let's start with number five. Obviously, number five is going to be the stride break for a grand blue. If you don't know her effect, her effect is um, when you stride up, when you stride, count plus one, you choose one card from the drop zone, call to the rear, and it gets uh, two, plus 2k. First off, calling a rear guard from the drop zone is actually a plus one. And just for the fact that it actually stays on the field, because most grand blue cards, they, act they actually retire in the end phase, like seven Cs. Uh, but her effect's not that bad. It's a plus one. You have a lot of options since you're playing Grand Blue because you're always going to have a graveyard full of units. So for her, you have an option of getting whatever rear guard you want. And then for her Gen Break 2 skill, it's okay. I mean, it's not that great, but it's definitely a defensive a defensive skill or it helps keep her field, her field on, uh, on board. Um... I mean, it's okay, but right now, I, um, literally, it's because this card, that Grand Blue are back, or that Grand Blue are, curr are currently up in the meta. Not, they're not the top tier meta, but Grand Blue, they didn't have anything. Grand Blue was actually literally terrible. Uh, this card brought it up, and including 7C stride units, they definitely helped out Grand Blue, but this is particularly one of them. And for now on, in each of my uh, Kenny Ring segments, I'm also going to give you a price breakdown. So right here on the side, I'm going to have Alph Alphonse Zeus edit it. Um, so this pr card price for this card is literally like 3 to $5. Uh, 3 to the lowest, $5 to the highest. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's a, good, it's a good decent card. It shouldn't be that hard to find. A lot of people should have it. Uh, it's stamped, it's probably 10 bucks, But it's a pretty good, pretty decent Shred Break Grade 3. Uh, so that's number 5. Now we're going to go to number four, which is the Vic Victor, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, his skill is whenever you stride over him, uh, count of us one, your vanguard gets a skill whenever it attacks a vanguard. Um, it can resend any unit and gives it a plus five. Um, it's once per turn, so as soon as your vanguard attacks, so for instance, if you're playing Victor Plasma, Victor Plasma has to activate this skill in the first attempt, and if it doesn't, it misses timing. So just be careful with that stride break skill. It does have timing. One, it's a good rush attack. Like if you're striding first, you could go into either um, Medio Medi Medi Kaiser Victor or Victor Buster. It's a good rush because lots of lots of the new Nova Grapple units have the new rush ability. They could restand, get plus five, make good columns. So that actually helps out a lot. And then his uh, GB his uh, Gen Break Two skill basically is the same thing. It's actually still not that bad. It's actually a little bit more better. But you're always going to keep on wanting to strike every turn. Because now, nowadays, normal grapple units, they don't really counter blast that much anymore. So his skill is actually not that bad to strike over. Uh, his current price right now, currently, it's around 18 to 20. 18 being, 18 being the, le the least and 20 being the highest. Uh, he's from uh, um, GB1, I believe. Uh, yeah, Generation uh, Booster 1. It's going to be hard to find them unless they get reprinted. He comes hot, hot stamped. Uh, he, no, I'm sorry. He comes uh, secret rare. But you better trying to find this. It's pretty expensive for 20 bucks, but it's okay. So that's number four. Uh, now I'm gonna give you guys number three. It is my main my main chick, uh, Black Shiver Gravio. I'm sorry if I said her name wrong. Wrong. I'm literally tongue tied. It's been busy. 
her, her strike skill basically when you strike over her, uh, kind of lost one. You could took a top three cards of the deck, one of them goes into damage, and then you can superior call one unit uh, from the damage to the field, and you send two cards back to the bottom of the deck. And it gets plus two. First off, uh, Angel Feathers, a lot of their units deal with the damage, and they benefit from the damage. They benefit from any cards entering or leaving the damage. So that's obviously a plus one. Uh, it's a plus two off also for the fact that her, she combos out with so many Angel Feather units, like the Pegasus Grade 1 and Pegasus Grade 2 units. And with the new uh, Generation Break 1, Grade 2, Graviel, whatever her name is. I keep forgetting her name. Uh, then her Gen Break 2 skill is actually literally a defense mechanism. Uh, whenever you get, whenever damage goes into your damage zone, this unit gets plus two. So you can literally play no shell, and she gets, and she's a thir 13k base column. And I'm sorry, 13k base vanguard, which is literally broken. So she's, she could potentially be a cross ride, or even bigger than a cross ride, defending against your opponent that turn, making your opponent having to make better columns, or your, your opponent can't even hit, hit at all. So one, she has a good field mechanic and a good defense mechanic. Um, right now she's currently seeing at 18, no, I'm sorry, not 18, like, uh, 16, 18, 16 meaning the least, 18 meaning the highest. Uh, she comes from GB4, obviously, old set, uh, probably, she got reprinted as, as a SP and SP pack for GB7, if you want to get her, but she's alright, so, she's number three. Number two. Uh, definitely Tetra Boil, Blue Wave, uh, Angry, I'm sorry, Blue Wave, Angry Boil. <clears throat> One, the stride skill is actually pretty good. Just the fact that you don't even have to counter blast at all. All you gotta do is stride, uh, and if you have, if you stride into the Blue Marshal, it gets an effect, which is automatically a plus one, if you look at it. And if you have either a Tidal Soul or a Magnum, Magnum Assault, or any other grade two that restands after attacking the Vanguard, or gets a plus 10k, it's pretty good because literally it rushes your opponent. It could go for a potential game, and if you hit a crit trigger that turn, you're most likely going to win that turn. Because um, Blue Marshal is a restanding vanguard that could potentially get more triggers for you. Um, so it's a stride break that mainly needs to combo out, combo out with the stride unit, the Blue Marshal. But if when it does combo out the Blue Marshal, it literally goes off. And that that's why I'm, I'm assuming and believing in seeing this card as a quick finisher by turn three to four or five if it goes longer than five turns then it's most likely going to lose because it loses his option but his gen break two skill is actually not that bad at all um when she uh when she attacks a vanguard it gets plus five at the end of the turn choose one of your units and it gets stand it and it gets plus 10k so that's also not a bad effect either in all honesty if you ask me so basically this this is an upgrade to Nova Grapplers, uh, it's, I find it more consistent, more actually rush base. Like I said, I've seen I've seen many um, Aqua Force decks in action. People are either playing uh, Blue Wave build or the Thavis build. I honestly think the Blue Wave build is better. It's uh, more consistent and it can finish off your opponent by turn five. No, honestly, uh, this card is actually pretty cheap. It's literally like seven to eight bucks. Uh, you can find it only in Extra Booster. Uh, the price might go up because I don't know if it's going to get reprinted or not. Maybe, I don't know. But for now, it's pretty cheap. So if you guys want it, go out and find it right now. That's why I'm putting this card at number two. And number one, obviously the cheapest card literally, literally in King of the Ring segment. Uh, Chrono Jet Dragon. The reason why he's the cheapest card because he got reprinted twice in the trial deck and as a common. Uh, the reason why he's number one at the current moment is because literally his uh, strike skill kind of lost one send one of your opponent's units back to the bottom of the deck one it's amazing against any decks that need legion two it controls your opponent's field so that's already that's already a good start by kind of, just kind of lost one uh, his gen break two skill whenever this unit attacks the vanguard it gets plus five and your opponent can't call great ones or higher so if your opponent doesn't have triggers in his hand and if he only has a perfect guard, it's literally game. It's a finisher right there. So this is the first grade three stride unit that actually is a finisher by itself. Cause you could either play hard time worker or god forbid you could give your give him more power through any of your combo units, I don't know, whatever. But um this card is a sixteen K base, it's a good column by itself, and your opponent can't use great ones or higher. He can't use perfect guards. So 
if you know your opponent doesn't have any triggers in their hands, and if, and if you know they only have perfect guards that are 5 damage, they literally have to rely on the heal trigger. And at, currently at this moment, I definitely see this card at number 1 for King Ring segment. Uh, it's cheap, it's literally 2 3 bucks. you can find it anywhere. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This card, um, it's pretty busted. Control base, and it's a finisher. That's what every clan wants in their deck. No, honesty. Um, so let's go over this one more time. Number five is the Grand Blue starter. Um, <laughs> Grand Blue, Sharp 3. The Novograppa 1, Victor. Uh, Graviel, uh, Angel Feathers. Angro Boil, number two. And then, obviously, Corona Jet, number three. Um, if you guys disagree with me, like I said, comment down below, make fun of me, call me an idiot, I'm fine with that, it doesn't bother me. This is just my opinion, my thoughts, my information that I gathered from other players currently, on uh, what they think is the best uh, Stride Break Grade 3 units in the current format right now. Um, I'll try to do another video, another Kenny Ring segment later on. Um, if you guys want, if you, like, if you guys like the Kenny Ring segment, please like the video. I'll definitely make more of them, obviously. But uh, for now, I'll stick to this. Um... Comment down below, like if you haven't, subscribe if you're if not subscribed yet, and of course, love you guys. Also, do not forget the new segment of Who is the Real Alphon Zeus? Can he be me? Can he be the gay guy? Can he be the, the transsexual victim outside there uh, screaming out, uh, make love to me, whatever his name is? But we have a new segment coming in Who is the Real Alphon Zeus? Tune in for that. Later. Peace.